Welcome to The Naomi Show. Hi there and welcome to the show and I'm joined today by body language and flirting expert Katia Loisel Fury who's here to talk about body language or non-verbal communication as it's also known and how it can be such a powerful tool to use when you're dating. Now Katia, why is body language so important? Body language is so, so important because it tells the other person what you're thinking. And whether you like it or not, what you think comes out. It's called your non-verbal leakage. And that is, believe me, I not always a good thing. I so transparent. Well, we are. Unfortunately, people don't always read the signals the right way. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, our own fears or, you know, self-doubt gets in the way when we're reading other people's signals. And, you know, that's where it all goes wrong. <laughs> now, this is what you say, is that you can actually repel people people, can't you, and Absolutely. repel the opposite sex, and we don't want to do that, Absolutely. Um, through your own body language. What, what ways do you do that? The big thing is, and it's usually when you see somebody who you just think, oh, and your heart is beating at a million yeah. miles an hour. What happens for most people, you know, we did a survey and 88% of people said when they first saw somebody who they really thought was drop dead gorgeous, their initial thought most of the time is that person's not going to like me back. Really? Really? Yeah, I can, I, actually I can relate to that. And even just in social situations, we think the worst about people, let's face it, because, you know, it's obviously due to us low self-esteem, yeah. thinking, you know, they're not going to like me, I'm too fat, I'm too skinny, oh my yeah. goodness, my hair's not, you know, I shouldn't have worn this dress today, I look terrible. <laughs> Whatever it is, unfortunately, what happens is it's that non-verbal leakage thing. The signals we send out when we're feeling, you know, insecure, nervous, are very, very similar to the signals we send out when we don't like somebody. Oh dear. Oh dear. What and a... most people misread them and think that person doesn't like me, so I'm not going to smile at them oh, back. So that's really scary. So what are some of the body language that, we, that we're speaking? What is some of that repelling body language? So basically, when you're nervous, feeling insecure, feeling anxious, most people will, first thing, you cross your arms. Yep. You're putting a, you know, a partial arm barrier, a full arm barrier between you and the other person. Sometimes we even do the reinforced arm cross. So we grab our ribs oh. and we hold on for dear God to think, Please don't look at me, please don't look at me. You know, often we'll avoid eye contact, so we'll have the arm gestures, we'll avoid but when eye you contact. Do it, you know, when you cross your arms, you actually feel that you're cutting the other person off. And this feels uncomfortable to it me. Does, I feel doesn't like it? I'm I feel like I'm blocking you. And you are. Yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'll stop it right now. And the thing about that is not only so, you know, our bodies send over ten thousand stimuli per second. Now you can either send ten thousand stimuli that say, Come and get it, or you can send ten thousand stimuli that say go away. So if you're crossing your your arms, you're avoiding eye contact, you're doing this, this is actually going to increase the amount of carbon dioxide in your body, which makes you feel nervous. If you jump right, up and down so on the spot, it makes it worse. It makes it worse. So then you start hyperventilating. Someone looks at you and you look scary, you know? <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to want to approach you. They're going to want to run the other way. You're doing it on purpose, but yeah, so these are things that you've really got to watch for. You've got to sort of catch yourself out, I take it. The wonderful, wonderful thing is that our body is fantastic at remembering information. All you have to do is become aware of it because, you know, knowledge is power. As soon yep. as you're aware of what you're doing, you can stop it. Next time you're in a situation where you feel really uncomfortable and you find yourself doing this, you stop yourself, you know, take a couple of deep breaths. Do it slowly because you're... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uncross your arms, take a couple of deep breaths. It's going to increase the amount of um, oxygen in your body and make you feel... Ah, feels better. Make eye contact and smile. The big thing about body language that most people don't realise or understand is that we tend to mirror each other's body language. So yeah. if you're looking at me and you're giving me the arm cross thing, I'm going to look at you and thinking, what, what, Same you don't thing. like me? <laughs> and then I'm going to do it back. <laughs> oh, right, and so it's just a self-fulfilling prophecy almost, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. I'm frightened they don't like me, I act as if they don't, yes. not that I realise that, and then they don't like and me. And then you get it back. So oh. if nobody smiles at you, my question to you is, do you smile at them? Yes, Because the good answer is point. no. Either that or you look really scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe they're not going to smile at you. Okay, so what are some of the ways that we can use our body language to our advantage then? I think make eye contact and smile at everybody okay. at the beginning, you know, and because that way you're not going to differentiate between hot, he's hot, she's hot, or I can't go there. Yep. If you're doing that at everybody, then eventually you're going to become so used to it that it's just going to be part of the course. And then you're never going to feel nervous about it. And then you can just relax and be yourself around other people. The big thing is we like people who like us yep. and yep. who make us feel good. And just by having open body language and looking like you're not going to bite their head off, yeah. <laughs> you know, 
know, that is going to set you apart from the rest because let's face it, most people do not That's look so approachable. True. You can go into a bar and people don't smile at you. No, absolutely. You can go into any kind of social situation and people aren't really smiling at you. No, right? absolutely. And, and you know, and I would have to say, you know, it's obviously really, really important is don't go overboard. Right. You know, you don't want to no be... No staring. <laughs> and every single person you see, just friendly eye contact and smile yeah. and leave it at that, you know, okay. unless you want to pursue it, obviously. Oh, fantastic <laughs> tips, Katia. <laughs> Thanks so much for that. We well, should a try pleasure. those out. Let us know how you go. And we'll see you next time. Your love life. Let's talk about it at naomishow.com.